Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Okay, guys, this is a part two to building video heads for the IVC machines, which are those over there. Um, like I spoke in the previous video. All right, guys, we have really kind of come to a really good position with these video heads. Okay, as I spoke in the previous video, the Panasonic video tips or video heads are a, a dead match for these uh, IVCs. They are a complete match. All right, I mounted the new ones in the housings, as you can see. Now, here is a fairly new head. All right, so I haven't done the wires to the contacts yet, you know, side to side on either one of these yet. But this is a newer head. So what I did, which I know this head will work, so what I did is I measured with a gauge the distance from the tip to the back uh, of the uh of the of the of the head uh, housing itself, and I came up with a 26.5 uh, millimeter, and that's from the tip, to the front of the tip to the back. Okay, so I set all these exactly 26.5, like an original, like the original head, which is here for that's for the dihedral, how far it sticks out. So this will be. An exact match in distance and this head here is like brand new It's very little life used on it it's almost a brand new head very little used so we use that as a guideline for the distance for the dihedral setting on these since these video tips or heads are like new as well they got uh, very little wear used on them at all I, I just set it to the same dihedral settings as an original head as you can see here but anyways guys uh, the last step is going to be wiring the wires from side to side. Just got to take some fine wire and solder those in place. So it makes connections to the side of the heads, which are like that. But these are brand new heads, guys. I was able to make five brand new heads. Uh, with my ingenious thinking of the Panasonic video head bars being an exact match. Down to, down to the tip, down to the brass holders down to everything these are exact uh even the um coil is one is 1 1.0 volts it's a one volt uh, in ohms it's an exact match in the ohms when i tested these on a meter so these should have no problem whatsoever using these these should work beautifully these are an exact match to the original head which are these which are all wore out these have great gap very little wear and tear. I used an original newer. This head's like new. It's very little wear and tear on this head. Virtually brand new. So what I did is I measured the distance from the top of the tip to the back of the housing. So I could match the exact same thing on these and screw them down. So I'd get the exact dihedro distance as it sticks out of the drum. Because you have to have that distance has to be correct. The dihedral distance has to be correct. I didn't have to worry about them being being straight because the housing keeps the uh, video head when you screw it down. It keeps it straight in in the, the housing itself because um, it, it doesn't move, so they're dead straight. All I had to do was worry about the distance from the back to the front and get the right setting, which I got it at 26.5, which is exactly what this one right here is, which is a new, a brand new head virtually, and this one is 26.5 dihedral. The dihedral setting from the back to the front so that's how far it sticks out when it's installed so we set the dihedral setting on these 26.5 millimeter from back to front screwed them down they're perfectly straight because they're sitting in the housings so now all we have to do is actually wire them up with very fine wires so the contacts are connected to side to side these heads should have no problem working at all so here you go, guys. This is how you rebuild and make brand new heads for an IVC machine. You start off with Panasonic video heads, which are like these, and they, and they mount in Panasonic video bars, brass bars. It's the exact same head in every detail. All right, and then you screw them into these new bases, which is the bases for the uh, IVCs. You're only using the front screw. You don't need the hole in the back. You just need the front one, which is perfect. Then you set your 
dihedral in distance from you know so it's sticking out far enough in the drum and it's not protruding too far or, or too little it's got to be at the right protrusion so I set that at 26.5 just like the original head here which is virtually brand new so we set the same dihedral as this one uh, the way it sticks out to the ones that I built the ones that I made actually we re rebuilt pretty much all we got to do is run the fine wire to the contacts and these heads are done we got brand new heads for the IVC totally built by me talk about uh, smart thinking today I mean that's why I always hang on to old heads from old machines you never know when you're gonna get lucky we got seriously lucky here folks so all I gotta do is keep in mind the Panasonic video heads will replace the heads on these IVCs you just gotta do the right uh, setup and uh, know how to do it. Thank God I had a brand new head to work with for the dihedral settings for how far it should stick out. So I was able to do that with a gauge, uh, 25 point, uh, point, uh, six dihedral, which is the dihedral distance, which I was able to match exactly like the original one using that gauge or miter or whatever you call it. And uh, so uh, we got it perfectly set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.